The third part of the empowerment is, an, so in a similar way, we think that that gives us a fresh start with our speech, it purifies our past errors of speech, and it empowers us um, to use the mantra of Chinrezig. The third part is the mind empowerment. This is actually, um, it's, it's given as Rinpoche holds up a card with a little flower painted on it. Uh, one thing that Chinrezig holds is a flower, a lotus flower. And actually we imagine when he holds that up that there's a whole flow of the various attributes that the thousand armed form of Chinrezig holds. There's a flow of all of these different things that he holds to ourselves. And it's like all of the various skills of compassion, you know, all the things you need, the, the patience, the power, the, the friendship for people, all of the many skills of compassion are transmitted to us. It's like a, a rain of lotus flowers, of all the things that Chinrezig holds. Now, this is actually the mind transmission. It symbolizes the compassionate heart, the compassionate mind of Chinrezig, which is transmitted to us from the Vajra Master. And that enables us to meditate on the deepest nature of compassion, which is Trinyata, or voidness. We think that it purifies all of our past mistakes of mind and gives us a fresh start with our mind to move forward from this evening onwards with a compassionate relationship to everyone, and in particular one that never will harm anybody ever again. Really, moments like empowerments, they're terrific times where you can make yourself a promise. The very essence of the Buddha's teaching is non-harm. In one way or another, we all hurt other beings. Even if it's just spraying your roses, killing mosquitoes. People who live with each other, often the people you love the most are the ones you hurt the most with your speech. You say things that are not kind. Empowerments are wonderful times to think I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to act with nobility, dignity and finesse and be a really, truly compassionate, kind human being. So, if you can, that will be marvellous. Now, I think I've used up most of my time, but there's a little bit of time for questions, if you do have any. Oh, let me tell you about the empowerment itself. Sorry, when it's very important. When you come up, uh, so Rimte gives the three stages of empowerment by holding up the objects. And if you can, you imagine, you visualize the transmission coming from those objects. Then at the end, we all come up in a line one by one to actually receive a physical contact with those objects of transmission. Now, usually when we do this, we come up um, with offerings. And very often it's a white scarf, one of these Tibetan white scarves. Uh, which is a symbol of the purity of one's own mind and being. So if you come up and you have a scarf, then uh, someone will very nicely relieve you of that scarf. In some ceremonies, you get the scarf back. In an empowerment, you don't. <laughs> it's, you actually offer it and you give it. So um, when you come up, uh, you can offer your scarf. And then Rinpoche will touch the bumper, this pot, onto your head. So lean your head forward a little bit. He'll touch the bumper on the head. And then he'll pour a little bit of the um, content, which is sort of saffron water type thing, um, you know, which we, if you remember from the empowerment, is the transmission of the body blessing of all the Buddhas. It's the one that fills you up with the nectar of compassion and wisdom and overflows at the top of your head. So if you can remember that, that's good. But usually we put our hands like this to receive the liquid. Sometimes you get a few drops, sometimes it's rather a lot. So usually you need to <laughs> get it quickly, <laughs> otherwise it starts dribbling on the floor. So we come up, you bend your head for the blessing of the bumpa, and then um, offer your hands like this, you get a few drops of the content of the bumper, which you drink. 
That's the main thing, you drink it. It's become a habit in empowerment that people sort of wipe off the rest on the top of their head as a blessing, but it's not part of the ceremony. It just people do, people do that. People do that. Um, now, probably with the bumper will be the rosary, the mala that Rinpoche uses to transmit the speech blessing, and also the little card, which is the mind blessing. So that's mainly how you receive contact with the objects. You come up, bend your head, <coughs> offer your hands, and then I think afterwards, once you move on, you'll be given what we call a, uh, a blessing cord. These are cords which come from the very head of our tradition, His Holiness the Kamapa, and um, he consecrated and blessed them, and uh, that's what uh, Rinpoche will be giving you, I think, after the empowerment. Okay. Any questions? Good. Okay. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, I hope you enjoy this evening's ceremony and that it means something for you. But in, more than anything else, I really hope that it develops your compassion because a compassionate life will give you more joy than anything in this universe. And actually, when we give ourselves to others, we don't give ourselves at all. We gain. And those who live in compassion are really happy human beings. And I hope this evening helps you along that journey to compassion, whichever way uh, you're following. Thank you so much.